you know, they got loose a couple times. But that's about it. It's the first time anything like this has happened around here. A home with a history of problems with dogs becomes the site of a vicious mauling that critically injured a young child in Bensville. Tonight, we're learning that little girl is expected to survive, but her road to recovery will not be an easy one. And tonight, the investigation is focusing on just how that little girl got into harm's way in the first place. ABC 7's Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell is in Bensville tonight with where things stand at this hour. Brad? Well, a lot of questions about which dog was involved and, as you said, how they came in contact with the little girl. But tonight, everyone's thinking mostly about that little girl. And as you said, there is good news. She is now in stable condition and expected to pull through. Just short of being fatal, it was as vicious as a dog attack can be. The five-year-old girl named Savannah was found in the fetal position. Her ears had been ripped off. There were large bite wounds on her torso and neck. All of her clothes were gone. It's devastating. You know, my kids, they know what, it, what happened and everything. Um, Vince Janes lives next door. He has strong words for the young man who kept dogs in a large kennel in the fenced yard. Can't have them dog, type of dogs you got. You know, there's too many mean breeds. According to the Charles County Sheriff's Department, two Presa Canarios like this one and an English Bulldog were removed from the house last night. The child had recently moved here with her mother to live with the mother's boyfriend. He was watching the girl last night. It's not clear whether or not she actually let the dogs out of the kennel. It's not clear if they were even in the kennel. ABC 7 News has learned that dogs have been a problem here before. In recent months, a family member called Animal Control to remove as many as a dozen big dogs, including cane corsos like this one. The dog's owner got rid of them before they were seized. Sources say the dogs involved last night are recent additions. A young man who answered the door at the home today, declined comment on camera. His neighbors say their thoughts are with the little girl. We have six children and, you know, to hear anything like that is, is it's definitely sad. That child's going to go through a lot of painful surgery in the next few years and it's sad. It's because of them dogs. Now, as for those dogs, we said three were seized, two were out in the yard with the child, a Presa Canario and the Old English Bulldog. Those two dogs have now been euthanized, and there is always so much discussion about breeds and their reputations. One of the reasons they were euthanized so quickly was that they are going to perform necropsies to determine which of the dogs or if both of them were involved in this attack. In Bensville, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. Okay.